All right, check it out. Here's another FX series laptop from Gateway. This is the uh, P7808U, and uh, it's kind of like the one that I use. I know a lot of you guys out there have seen that one before, 17 inch, uh, but this one is even probably a little bit better. It's got a little bit more hard drive space, and it's definitely got a better processor. Uh, Vista score on this thing is incredible. It got a 5.6, the lowest sub score being the hard drive. Uh, everything else was 5.8 and 5.9, which is a maxed out score. Very nice. Uh, now, let's talk a little about the specs on this thing. Now, first of all, it's good for gamers. This is obviously a gaming laptop. Don't fool yourself. It really is. It's not meant for anything else. Um, now, on some of the other FX series 17-inch notebooks, they have a, a um, 1920 by 1200 display. This one has a 1440 by 900 display, which means that even though the resolution is a little bit lower, it might not be as good for multitasking to be better for gaming because you're going to be getting uh, higher frames per second because you're, you're running at a lower resolution. The graphics card doesn't have to work as hard, um, and in the end, you get better performance in your games. Now, this card has a 9800 GTS mobile in it, so 9800M GTS by NVIDIA, uh, which is a very nice card, especially for a laptop. It runs very fast. It'll play pretty much any game you want it to, whether it be Crisis, Call of Duty, uh, you know, The Sims 3, you name it, it'll play. It's not going to be an issue on this type of laptop. Now, here's what makes this thing really, really special. I'm just going to show you. Zoom in on this uh, little sticker over here in the corner. Right there. See that right there? Centrino 2 Intel V Pro. Okay, and this is not just your regular Centrino chip. This is the, one of the first quad-core laptops. This is a Core 2 Quad Q9000 from the Centrino 2 line. Uh, that's a 1066 megahertz front side bus, 6 megabytes of L2 cache, and it's clocked in at 2 gigahertz, uh, which is in very, very impressive. Now, as far as memory goes, you got 4 gigs of DDR3 on here. You have a 500 gig, 5400 RPM drive, which, by the way, um, it was really weird to see a 5400 RPM, 500 gigabyte hard drive get that type of Vista score, 5.6 for data transfer. Incredible, so look at these scores, 5.8 for the processor, 5.9 for memory, 5.9 for graphics, 5.9 for gaming graphics, and 5.6 uh, for the data, this data transfer rate. It's absolutely incredible, and uh, that's not where it stops. There's still plenty more on this laptop, so let's keep going. Um, now, first of all, you look right up here, obviously we do have a webcam, 1.3 megapixel. Um, it looks absolutely great. Um, it's stunning, if you look at it, it's got, got one of the bigger webcams. It actually looks nicer, it might still be 1.3 1.3 megapixel, but it's got a nicer lens, it's nice and big, and it put, produces some great imagery. Um, now, also on here, you have NDRAF wireless, so as far as connectivity go, you got multiple in, multiple out, 300 megabit per second. If you have an NDRAF wireless network at home, it's going to be really useful. Um, it, it, you know, it's going to be, uh, give you that advantage in speed and in range, so it's a double-sided sword. It gives you uh, a host of extra benefits. Uh, let's take a quick tour on here while we're here. Um, starting over on this side, you're going to notice you have their Kensington lock. Uh, you have two USB 2.0 ports right there. This is your fan louver for your 9800 mobile uh, GT. It does get a little bit hot. And here is your DVD drive, DVD RW, uh, RAMs, ROMs, you name it. It also has label flash, which is pretty much like Lightscribe. It puts a high contrast image on your disc using the same laser it uses to burn uh, the DVD. Coming over here, this is your switch for your Wi-Fi, so I just turned it off by accident. Turn it back on, uh, it is right there. Coming over to this side, this is gonna be your SD, MMC, MS, XD card slot right there. Uh, so pretty much everything you want is gonna fit right in there. Now, the secret one is right underneath it. This is a 54 millimeter express card slot. So tons of peripherals you can have on here. This laptop already has everything you need, but if you wanna add like, let's say a TV tuner, uh, you very well could. You just throw it right in there. Uh, it's a nice feature to have. Uh, here's your input and outputs for your headset microphone. This is a 1394. Uh, Firewire, aka iLink, it's the really small one. Uh, you got USB 2.0 right there, and uh, here's your 10 100 1000 Ethernet connection, HDMI, which is fantastic. You will love it. And now you have a 9800 Mobile GTS on here versus the older 8800 Mobile GTS, which is just uh, the same architecture, just a different chip. Uh, this actually does do sound over the HDMI, which is great. The old, older ones did not. Uh, so that's a nice upgrade. Uh, you also have eSAT in case you want to connect some hard drives on here with 500 gigs. I don't know if you'll need to, but it would be nice if you want to you know, connect it to your external, has all your movies or something. And of course, uh, you have a VGA port right there. Um, now, let's take a quick look uh, at some of the design features on this. Let's talk about, first of all, I want to show you where the power button is. It's right over here. That's your power button right there. Now moving on over, this brings up your movie, this brings up your DVD player, all your media keys, and then of course your volume over here, and this is your mute. Uh, so just so you know for volume, you just, you go like this. You don't actually have to tap here. You just slide your finger, and it's going to increase your volume. Now this thing has two great speakers on it. Um, I'll tell you what, incredible speakers for a laptop, whether it be a 17, a 15, or even one of those monster like 19 inch laptops. These speakers are incredible. They're loud, um, they sound great, and they're quite, quite impressive. I like them a lot. And then finally, one of the last things on here that's really cool, show you on the back, there's a couple things. Uh, first of all, is that there's a modem over here. 
Uh, yep, right there, V92, 56K modem. If you're gonna use it, well, whatever, good for you. You can use it, great for emergencies, hurricanes. And the battery. This battery, mind you, you know this laptop is a monster. It's got a quad core, it's got four gigs of DDR3. It's got a 500 gig hard drive and a huge video card. Obviously, uh, it's gonna waste a lot of power, but this is a nine cell lithium ion battery. So you're probably gonna get about three to three and a half hours, uh, even on this ridiculously powerful laptop just off that battery right there. So. Very nice. It's the Gateway P7808U uh, FX series, so it's still 17 inch, a little bit lower resolution. So you're going to get better frame rates uh, in some of the games. You're not doing 1200 lines, you're only doing 900 lines. It's a big difference. Uh, it's got the quad core processor, so if you're multitasking, this is for you. It's got the 9800 Mobile GTS, so for gaming or for graphics. Mind you, remember all this stuff does CUDA, it all does physics. You can do a lot of stuff on here. You can fold with this laptop if you'd like through your video card or through the processor. Uh, lots of good stuff. This thing is a powerhouse and it is an incredible, incredible deal. So, Gateway uh, P7808U from the FX series. If you have any questions on it, feel free to email me and I will see you guys next time. For more information on the Gateway P7808U FX series laptop, type in G180-17005 into the search engine of any of these major retailers. For Computer TV, I'm Albert.